Hello everybody, it's another weekend. Today is Saturday and it's another Aldi haul. Um, I pretty much do my shopping every weekend. I don't know if you're the same way. Um, I pick one of the days, whichever works out best for me, Saturday or Sunday, and do the shopping. Um, so last week I did get a lot. So you will see this week my all is much smaller, but with all the stuff I had left over from last week and I have a lot in my pantry, um, we will do really good. So let me go through what I bought and give you some tips of why I picked these items and what we'll be doing with them this week. I will start out with the fruits and vegetable area. Got just some standard things, you know, it's nice to have in your cupboard, um, pantry, and it's easy, you know, the, if you have it in your house, you're going to eat it. So if it looks good, grab it. These strawberries looked really good. We got them last week. They were delicious. So strawberries and a cucumber, radishes, the bell peppers, the salad kit. I don't normally get this salad kit, but I wasn't chopping up my lettuce. So I thought, you know, we'll, we'll more likely to eat it if it's here ready to go. Got a pineapple. They were really good value today. Some bananas. Perfect looking. Looks good. Our spinach for both the guinea pigs and the people. But that's why we get three. Uh, we got some hot dog buns. Uh, it is Cinco de Mayo this week coming up. So we did get the tortilla chips with the roasted verde salsa. Uh, if you haven't tried this salsa, try it. It's delicious. It used to be a seasonal item but it's there all the time now it's really good um this was one of those specialty items that olivia my 12 year old talked me into getting for her to have for lunch spicy chicken raymond kit it was in the like refrigerated area looked interesting who doesn't love raymond um i was checking these out they have a couple different mayonnaise options there and i was trying to find the best for calories, this is 40 calories per tablespoon. Um, so we will try it. I believe I've had it before, but I kind of don't really remember. In the summer is when I make more of like a potato salad with mayonnaise and things like that. So with that coming up, hopefully soon, we will do that. A giant box of Frosted Flakes. Some of these, it's been a while, but these are really good. These, uh, it's been a while since I've had them. They're really good, 90 calories. Uh, definitely hits that little chocolate flavor that you're wanting. Um, soft baked, they're really good. These were a new item that got us. Fried pickle ranch potato chips. So I guess we really like fried pickle ranch. We bought a dip from Sam's Club um, a couple weeks back. That was delicious. So we decided to try these chips from Aldi. I'm sure that these will be a seasonal item, but we'll see how they are. I watched another YouTuber and she made some buffalo chicken dip and I just got in the mood for that. So um, she does use canned chicken, honestly, in general, not a fan of canned chicken, but the convenience and the price, everything, and this is going in a very spicy dip. You're not really tasting the chicken like that. You just need the chicken, cream cheese, and some cheddar cheese. You do not need this much. This was just the best price for this eight cups was $5.19. Um, so I couldn't pass it up. And then you put in a jar of buffalo sauce and mix it all up, bake it up. Mm, delicious. Eat it with them tortilla chips over there. Um, some more lunch meat. Um, they did not have the typical one that I buy, but this is our second best favorite lunch meat that they have. So I like that they have these inside the box. They've got two individually wrapped containers, so it's not all open at the same time. So that's really nice. And then, of course, the container that it comes in. We got um, turkey and ham. We decided to go with some plain bagels and some whipped cream cheese. Excellent breakfast. We got these green chili chicken sausage. These um, were in that... At my Aldi, there's a special cold container that is for seasonal items. So I'm assuming that they are going to be a seasonal item, but they looked really good. 
um, sugar-free hazelnut creamer. Um, this is one thing that they were really low on at my Aldi, um, the different creamers of all kinds. There was very little to choose from. I prefer sugar-free, so um, I don't prefer hazelnut. <laughs> it's okay, but we will, I can live. I uh, got some brown sugar. Uh, Emily plans on doing some baking. Emily is my 21-year-old, and her um, boyfriend just got a birthday coming up, and Emily's one of her favorite things to do is to bake, so let's make sure she has what she needs. Um, also, Emily usually uses most of this yogurt, so she chose to get a whole milk and a non-fat uh, yogurt. She loves to do it with the smoothies. This is her preferred smoothie, the Tropical Blend. I thought this was going to be seasonal, but they seem to be having it, but it might be all summer long they'll have it, and then it'll go away. We'll see. Um, but uses those things for a morning smoothie every single day. These are Dan's preferred drink. Um, these are seltzer waters, basically like a LaCroix, Aldi brand. Um, I don't know if I can find the price. The, the price is unbeatable. I have price checked these. All around Sam's Club, different sales when they go on sale at Kroger or Meyer, and you cannot beat the price at Aldi. I feel like it's around two dollars and fifty cents, but I can't find it scanning my receipt. I'll show you my receipt. See, it got halfway chopped off. Oops, it's not gonna focus. It got like halfway chopped off the words. So around two dollars and fifty cents for twelve, and that is just like the best price I could find. Uh, got some chicken breasts. We're just going to do lunch prep with these, like cook them up, have them in the fridge, put it on a salad in a wrap, something easy for lunch. This is one of our absolute favorites. So this is um, seasoned boneless pork shoulder. This I think has the price on it. Yep. So $6 for mm, two and a half, two and a half pounds, we'll say. Um, and this is one of our absolute favorites. It's so easy. I can't even do a cooking video on it. You literally just put this in your crock pot on low. That's it. Done. And at, in the evening, you just shred it up and put it on some tortillas. Oh, delicious. And that's why I also got the big cheese. I like cheese on it like this cheese. So, so good. And it is wonderful. It's a Mexican flavor. This carnitas is a Mexican flavor. They also at Aldi have a barbecue one, also just as delicious. Great value for how much meat you're getting, how far it goes. It's just one of our favorites. We did get a dozen eggs, eggs price, um, how they probably are by you two. They're going all over the place. Today they were $1.99, so that's coming down. Last week they were $2.49, I believe. And just a few days before that, so a week and a half ago, they were like $3.49. So I'm pleased with the, the pricing that they're coming down. Still $2 seems high to me. However, it's, you know, you get 12 eggs, the um, amount of protein and how far eggs will go in feeding everybody. They are a really good value still. And then um, stain remover, we got OxyClean. Um... They, I just needed it now. This actually is not my preferred stain remover. Do you have little kids? What is yours uh, favorite stain remover? Mine is actually the spray and wash, but Aldi, my Aldi only carries this. It's the only choice, and since I needed it today, I uh, decided we'll give it a shot. Better than not having it. And here is my total, $100.10. Would have been nice to just be at that straight 100 but that's a good number too so i think i did pretty good for everything i got thank you everybody so much for watching if you liked what you saw please subscribe it really does help me out remember that i believe every day is a gift from god and i really appreciate you spending a little part of your day with me bye